Hey YouTube, welcome back to my desk. I'm your humble server Joe here. I need to post a retraction. Let me just get right to the point. One of my viewers, or maybe not one of my viewers, but somebody who viewed one of my videos pointed out uh, in a very polite and um, uh, accurate way, in a way that got right to me, that I have published an inaccuracy. And uh, it is not in, in my intention in any way to to add to the to the junk you find on the internet. I, I want to be accurate. I want to be technically accurate. I want to share what I know with you. And in this case, you know, having some technical knowledge in one area makes you think sometimes you're an expert in a lot of different areas. And uh, I could have uh, I could have looked this up, and I didn't. I was lazy, and I didn't look it up. And the error is, I said that the Arduino series of uh, boards with the AVR processor or other processors is running a version of the Lin of Linux, of the Linux kernel uh, or, or any type of Linux stack or, or anything like that. It is not. The Arduino and Arduino clones and anything that's using the Arduino IDE is not running Linux in any way. There's no Linux in there. Uh, I apologize for that. Now, uh, there's lots of differences between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino, and I, was, I think I'm correct in differentiating between a single board computer and a microcontroller. The microcontroller is running one thing. It's running the, the Arduino sketch that you have written. And this is running Linux, which is capable of running uh, multiple processes. If you, if you fire this guy up and look at how many different little programs are running on here, different processes, different threads, you're going to see there are tens of different things running simultaneously on this. Linux handles all that multiprocessing, memory allocation, uh, making sure one program doesn't jump into another program's memory. Um, this is going to run one thing, and that is the sketch that you put on there. How does that work? Uh, all computers have uh, uh, a little program that runs when you s s turn them on. When the, when, the, when the computer is off, it's, it's off, it's, it's brain dead, it's just sitting there not doing anything. When you turn it on, um, something has to happen to tell the processor what to do next. In the case of the Arduino, there's a little program in non-volatile memory, me means when the memory's turned off, the bits stay in there, the program's in there. And that program is called a bootloader, and the bootloader, uh, when you turn it on, uh, asks the following question. It says, are you trying to load a new program on me? If the answer is yes, the bootloader will do certain things that allow you to shove a new program into a different part of non-volatile memory on the microcontroller. Uh, the microcontroller doesn't need any external memory. It's, it's all in there, and when you turn the computer off, when you turn the microcontroller off, Everything stays in there, so that's non, the non-volatile part. So the bootloader asks, are you trying to load a program? If the answer is yes, it puts the uh, machine in a state that allows you to suck another program into it. If the answer is no, it just simply starts executing the program that's already in there, or it doesn't even, the bootloader doesn't execute. The, the, it, it just turns control over to the hardware, which begins to execute the program that's already in its non-volatile memory. Um, there is no operating system. There is no Linux operating system in here, which is controlling the the machine. Oop, I'm about to destroy my Intel Edison here. Um, whereas on the Raspberry Pi, um, the bootloader or wherever it is on here, and you know when you turn on Linux, there's a little thing that runs and it fires up Linux, and um, you can you can have different programs start when Linux fires up. It's a very uh, involved sort of thing, but it's a completely different system than this. Uh, this starts from scratch more or less every single time, and it has to pull all its information out of, out of memory, which would be in an SD card here. And this guy's got everything in non-volatile memory. It does one thing, one process. It's not running multiple processes. You don't need protective memory. It's all in there already. And I made that mistake, and I apologize for that. Now, the other stuff I said about operating systems and whatnot, you know, this is the, when somebody publishes a, uh, a retraction, you know, they shouldn't go on about how they were right about other things. But I, what I wanted to tell you is that if you did watch the video, um, th this part was wrong, that there's Linux in there. There isn't. There's the Arduino core, which more or less might be considered sort of an operating system, but kind of the operating system is in the hardware itself. So the core plus the hardware equals an operating system, and, and, and maybe. 
Um, and I know there's, there's engineers out there, and I'm an engineer too, and we like to be accurate, so I, I'm not going to say there's an operating system in there, but there's the Arduino core, there's your sketch, it all gets bundled up together by the IDE, gets shoved in there, and it's run every time. This is running Linux, which you would put on an SD card, and um, you can put different versions of Linux on here, and you can run multiple programs at the same time. Same with the Intel Edison. Um, in, in this format, the Intel Edison uh, can actually run the Arduino core and fake it out to think that it's a microcontroller when it's not. And so the core thinks it's sitting in one of these things, but it's really in a program space in here. And there's a little bootloader on this thing that acts like the bootloader on this thing. And so it starts up. And what it does is it, it's not really a bootloader. I apologize again. So what's happening is when this guy starts up, it, if it's in this configuration, it knows to look for the Arduino IDE uh, uh, in, in its memory where it's put it. It's got a special place where it puts it. And when it boots up, it starts off running the Arduino code instead of booting all the Linux right away. And all the IOs look, uh, look correct to it. It looks, you know, as far as the Arduino code knows, it's sitting in there with those things instead of sitting in here with all this other stuff. Um, and there's a way the Edison works, and you can go to the Edison uh, Intel Edison website and go figure that out. Um, and if you want, I could explain it. Um, but again, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that that part that that this is not running Linux. It's running. It's a microcontroller. It just runs whatever is in there without the aid of an operating system. Now uh, there are other things. You know, people have have corrected me on other items. You know, we had a little discussion about what does open source hardware mean. The Arduino guys, the five original guys who 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 did this thing. Uh, also based some of their work off of MIT, the pro um, MIT processing system, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this concept, packaging it this way and putting it out there for people to easily use is their idea. And so they, they trademark the name Arduino. And if you want to use the name Arduino, you have to pay them a royalty. I don't, I don't in any way begrudge them the, the, that royalty. Uh, they changed the world. They should get something for changing the world. Um, but uh, their hardware is open source, meaning you as an individual could, are free to go and build your own boards and have fun. But if you want to do something commercially and make money off it, you should pay them a royalty. Uh, open source says you should pay them a royalty. It uh, doesn't mean that you can't copy it for your own personal use, but if you read the LGPL and the, or the GPL license, it explains the rules under which it's okay for you to copy their stuff and rules under which it is not. So it is not okay for you to go out and make a whole mess of boards and call them Arduino and then sell them like this was sold to me and somebody pointed out to me that this is probably a counterfeit. Um, that looks strangely like a regular Arduino, but the fact that it's dark blue instead of this, uh, instead of the Arduino green, indicates that it's probably not right. Uh, so uh, there's another point. Uh, it's a legal point, not a technical point. I mean, I'm not really inter interested in arguing legality, but it, just to be accurate, I the 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 open source part uh, it does make sense that. You're allowing people to copy it, but you don't want giant companies or entire countries to copy your stuff. And the guys who invented this should get benefit in some way from their uh, from changing the world. Uh, lots of people know about microcontroller uh, programming who would never have come to it otherwise. Uh, so they should get something out of it. Anyway, I thank you very much for your patronage. I thank you for your support. I thank you for putting up with me and for coming back to the to the. Uh, uh, the site to, to my little channel here. And um, I really uh, 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 ask for your patience on this one. Again, it is my intention at every turn to be technically accurate. We might not see eye to eye on, you know, the, uh, the, the different qualities of different musical synthesizers or whether and I got here, uh, here's a filter that's going to go into a, uh, uh, into my modular synthesizer that's based on uh, Ober Tom Oberheim's design. And we could argue whether, you know, four pole versus one pole versus this pole sounds better. And that's an argument. That's, you know, that's art. This is not art. This is technology. There is a right and a wrong. And I was wrong. And I thank the individual uh, who, who corrected me so kindly and uh, not abusively. And um, uh, so thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your patronage. I'll do my best to update that video. And if there's any other thing you'd like to see, uh, I'll, I'll put a little bit more effort into it next time and make sure I'm right on all points. Thank you very much.